Welcome back to the College Excellence Summit, day two, August the 14th. I am Felix A. Petitz, the co-founder of Educational, um, wow, Educational Excellence Incorporated. I'm super excited, it's hard to contain myself. So I'll turn it back over to Dr. Murray. All right, greetings and thank you all. We're excited to have you back for day two of the summit. Um, if you missed yesterday, you missed an awesome uh, opportunity and a, a lot of great, powerful insight by our um, guest speakers and panelists. So sit back, relax, and um, let's um, certainly um, make the most of today. Again, I'm Dr. Christy Murray, the CEO of Educational Excellence Incorporated, and we, um, we're excited about today. If you have not already, please mute your lines. We had some interesting conversations we were picking up yesterday, and um, I don't think some people knew that they could be heard. So please double check your lines. I think somebody accidentally muted me. Also, this event is being recorded, so please um, make sure that you handle it accordingly. And we really wanna make this interactive, so we want you to feel comfortable asking questions. Please use the chat function if you have comments or questions you'd like to share. And at key points throughout the summit, you will have an opportunity to even come off of mute, turn your video on, and we love to see faces. So if you wanna turn your videos on now, we're happy to have you do so. Um, but certainly, um, we invite you to ask your questions. That's what this summit is all about. So let me tell you a little bit about um, Educational Excellence, Inc. We formed this co um, company back in 2021 um, to help students and parents. Our main mission is to provide impactful college and career planning, education, information, and resources to students and parents that I wish someone had told me. So that's really the essence of what we're doing in the space that we're operating in. So for day one of the summit, um, I wanna do a little brief recap of yesterday for those who missed it. And I see some new participants joining us and I see some familiar faces and names from yesterday. But either way, it was so impactful and I like to hear from others, not just myself. So if you attended yesterday, um, let everybody know in the chat what you thought about yesterday's session as I do a little brief recap. Felix and I started off kind of introducing the summit, why we do the summit every year, and then I shared a wealth of knowledge on college and career planning. How do you get through the college admissions process? And then we had a great speaker, Micheline Bowman, who shared, um, talked about branding. How you show up is how you glow up. And she talked about everything to how you dress, making eye contact, shaking hands, being able to communicate and articulate well and more. So we hope you learned a lot from that. And if that wasn't enough by itself, we took a quick break and then we came back and heard from a NFL Super Bowl winner, um, champion, uh, Jamin Elliott, and he shared some fantastic tips with um, all the students, but certainly our scholar athletes about how they should go about um, their efforts in high school to prepare to play collegiate sports. So it was a phenomenal talk there. And then Dr. Kenneth Morton joined us and he shared a wealth of information along with a panel of eight other professionals. They shared their insights with students and parents and all of us. There were even golden, go, golden nuggets that I took away in terms of how you show up in the workplace, how they chose their careers, what schools they went to, even their Greek affiliations, like being an AKA or an alpha in the alpha fraternity, those sort of things. So we had a really great, um, a lot of great wisdom and advice shared by our career professional panel. And then lastly, 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 um, some of you took the survey. Thank you very much to all those who took the survey yesterday. We got some really great feedback and it will, we will use all of the feedback to help inform our future activities throughout the year and our future summit next year. And we gave instructions. We had a number of students who took it to task and we provided scholarship instructions. So how it worked was, if you are a student, we have an application on my website, 
and you had to attend both days of the summit yesterday and today. And we um, we had a number of sponsors who are who have given funding for scholarships. So the students had instructions. They had to complete an online application, a scholar profile, submit a picture, verify their high school or college information, and write a brief essay. And some of you did not take the challenge, and some of you did. And so because of that, we'll be hearing more about it today. So that is a brief recap of what we did yesterday. So as we get today kicked off, I'm gonna start off with a brief video and it's called Push Yourself by Study Motivation. Stand by. There's no other way around it. If success is the result that you are ultimately seeking, you must be obsessed with the process. You have no time to let fear, doubt, failure, quit, negative thoughts, or give up enter into your mental. See, you have massive potential. So from the moment you open your eyes in the morning, your mindset has to be win. Meaning winning that particular morning and carrying that winner's mentality with you as you enter your classroom. So what the person to the left of you is pessimistic? So what the person to the right of you is zoned out? You, yes you, can only be concerned with staying locked in because you refuse to let the aura of your classmates or classroom enter into your mental space. See, this race is won by the one that can distance him or herself from the rest of the pack. And those are facts. So I need you to realize that there will be bad days. There will be times that you feel like you have no earthly idea what your teacher or professor is talking about. But what you will never, ever do is throw a pity party. What you will never, ever do is tap out. What you will never, ever do is concede and throw in the towel. What you will do is knock on his or her door and say, listen, I only have one option and that is success in your class. But right now, I'm confused about the lesson you taught today. And I need clarity, and I need it now. I guarantee you, if you are passionate about wanting to achieve success in that class, he or she will bend over backwards to help you. But if you settle for mediocrity and never say anything, you are setting yourself up to fail. And failure, my friend, is not in your DNA. not the first person to question whether or not they have what it takes to achieve at a high level. I promise you're not the first person to feel like they are underperforming. I promise you are not the first person to feel like their brain is about to explode. Listen to me. Those that can push through no matter what storms arise are in the small minority, that small percentile of those that ultimately break through and make their goals and dreams a reality. So the reality is this. You were born with everything you need to pass every class with flying colors. You were born with everything you need to overcome the anxiety that may pop up from time to time on a mission to derail your lifelong hopes, dreams, and aspirations. See, my favorite acronym is H-W-P-O. And just in case you forget, or just in case you don't know, that means hard work pays off. So winners like us never lose focus. And we're horrified and petrified whenever someone tries to tell us to take the easy route. Because we already know there is no easy route. Because if it were easy, everyone would do it. So we avoid that ignorance and get back to our grind of studying harder than we've ever studied before because we understand that you get out of it what you put into it. So we pour our heart and soul into our homework. We pour our heart and soul into studying for exams. That way, we sleep like a baby because we know in our heart of hearts that we have put every ounce of our being into our work, and therefore, success is a foregone conclusion. all of the hard work, after all of the studying, after all of the blood, sweat, and tears, you still fail. I need you to really and 
never forget this. You never fail, you never lose, you only learn. See, life will knock the mess out of you when you least expect it. It's part of the process. See, that's when you have to tell yourself, because of this setback, I'm strong. Because of this setback, I'm wiser. Because of this setback, I'm smarter. And because of this setback, I'm hungrier than ever. So I say all of this as a friendly reminder. Going to be spectacular. So I need you to jump over the obstacles. I need you to go around the pitfalls. And I need you to push through the adversity. Because that dormant volcano of success that's living inside of you is just waiting for you to grant permission for it to erupt. All right, again, another video that left me motivated and encouraged. And the, the, key, the key essence of the video that I want you, if you don't take anything away from the video, is push yourself. It's not that you're not going to face adversity. It's what will you learn about yourself when you do? And there were so many different words that stuck out, but one of the things that stuck for me is when he said, failure is not in your DNA. And so yesterday we heard um, that you're allergic to average. And today I want you to remember that failure is not in your DNA. That is the essence of educational excellence. Pursuing education, learning, growing, developing as young adults without complaint, rolling up your sleeves and putting and having a good work ethic about it. So as we set the stage with, with educational excellence for day two of the summit, let me share with you what we have in store for you today. First, um, we will have next Mr. Jonathan Wright, who will be sharing money matters for students and other financial gems, I'm sure. And then we'll take a brief break. We may take a break. We'll look at our time. Um, we may push the break to a little bit later. So please grant me some break flexibilities today. Um, but then we'll also hear from Ms. Sharon Stone um, after that, who will talk about our civic responsibility and why your vote matters. Yes, even as young adults, your vote matters in both local and all of local, state, and federal elections. So many of you are either 18 and above or about to turn 18 soon, and we want you to know that you um, have a responsibility to yourself and to your community. Then I will join you back to talk about college funding strategies. I wish someone had told me uh, financial aid. We're going to get into a little bit of talk on scholarships. I know that was a big topic that came up in the survey results yesterday. Guess what? We'll cover that today. And then we would be remiss if we didn't give students an opportunity to hear from students. So we have a college student and recent graduate panel who will be joining us this afternoon sharing their college insights, internship, you know, if they were in a Greek sorority or fraternity, <laughs> and other topics. They'll be sharing their experiences with you. And then we'll end today with another brief survey. So please don't leave before the benediction, as they say in church. Don't leave before the closing remarks are over. And make sure that you stick around for the survey. And we will be announcing the winners of our scholarship uh, giveaway that we initiated yesterday afternoon. So those students who I participated yesterday, stuck around to the end, and rose to the occasion by actually spending their afternoon and evening applying for our scholarship. For those who didn't know, they had till 10 o'clock last night to submit their um, scholarship applications. And so with that being said, we'll share more about those who actually won today. <music>